800 Empire today. 800 that cute we have the two white couples dancing along doing a tiktok commercial together and it's cute right right now this past weekend i ran through a book called the manipulated man and i urge all you young men out there to go get this book and it's free on youtube okay it don't cost nothing you just type in the manipulated man looks like this and go through it okay this will open your eyes about how women been treating us now what i got from this book is men are slaves to women to our needs to our sexual gratification we are slaves to women and women know that and they've been mm. now i went through my tiktok feed and i ran through the story which opened my eyes even wider that we are slave to women. We have a couple, a guy in his thirties and she's 29 or I believe she's 30 also. And she has two children. He don't have any kids. You know what? Matter of fact, I'm gonna let her tell a story. Go. Have you ever seen a man who's HIV negative and a woman is HIV positive and fall in love and have a baby? Hi, my name is Brenda J. I am HIV positive. My husband is HIV negative. Come celebrate with me for my husband's birthday. So my husband just turned 30 years old. I met my husband when he was 23. I was 21 years old. He accepted me not only being HIV positive, but he also accepted my two children that I had before him. I was pregnant with one and I had one that was getting ready to turn one. I wanted my husband to feel special, so I did something that I knew for a fact that he wanted to do over the years. So I decided to take my husband to the Texas Row House and we had an amazing time. We had a really, really good family time. We laughed. I even embarrassed my husband during the birthday holiday thing because, you know, he didn't know nothing about it. But anyways, y'all, thank y'all so much for supporting us and I will do a story time of how me and my husband met soon. Bye, y'all. Man, oh man, you talking about low self-esteem. She has HIV pause and you are HIV neg. She have two children. You don't have any children. You in your early 30s. Life just getting started. She done spent hers already. And you telling me, out of 4 billion women roaming around the earth, this is the one you choose? Now, I hate to be mean, but let's take a look at her again. Oh my God, sir. Talk about low self-esteem. This is the one that you laying up with. You have your whole life ahead of you. I don't want to hear this shit talking about love is love. No, no. I don't want to hear about that. You can't help who you love. That's some bullshit. Now, there's no reason for this guy to waste his life on this right here. I know he's not a good looking guy either. But a few push-ups, lifting up some weight, going on a diet. Fuck that. You don't even need all that. If you get some money in your pocket, you can get the baddest woman out here. Much better than this right here. You don't have any children, sir. Now, I understand if you had some kids and you had the HIV pause. If you were that, then I understand. But you are free and clear. You don't have no HIV. Why would you waste your life with this woman here? You playing Russian roulette for what? For this? Golly. She's not even a high five. She's not even a four. With the bug, she's barely a two. And you are laying up with a two. What the hell is going on here? Guys, we got to get this together, man. Have you ever seen a man who's HIV negative and a woman is HIV positive and fall in love and have a baby? Hi, my name is Brenda J. I am HIV positive. I have therapy and I was talking to my therapist about a lot of things, including how on social media people know that I am HIV positive and my husband is HIV negative. It doesn't bother me that people know my status or my husband's status. But what bothers me is a lot of people don't know my story, nor do they know the mental health battles that I've dealt with due to the HIV medicine. I was 
given medicine that was not healthy for me that caused me to have mental health problems, anxiety, depression, and etc. I've been seeing a lot of comments like my husband's a simp, he must be slow, blah blah blah. You just hate the fact that someone can love someone even with them having HIV. You would be so surprised of how many of us are in marriages and relationships and our spouse does not have HIV. Black men need of being loved so bad. That's why they're taking advantage of us. Black men will date anybody that the other race don't want. Whatever the white man don't want, the black man will pick up. The white man don't want a big fat roly poly, but guess who'll pick him up? A black man talking about she's thick. No, she's fat. Asian men don't play that. Asian men don't want no fat chicks, but guess who'll pick him up? Black man talking about she's thick. No, she's fat. Hispanic men, Hispanic men don't want no fat roly pop. Well, you know what? Never mind. Scratch that. Scratch that. <laughs> but seriously, now here's something about the white women. After they had their fun in their 20s and 30s, Woo! after they've been divorced, that's when they want to date black men. Now look at this one here. Cher. Cher in his goddamn 70s. And who she's dating? This guy here. This guy left Amber Rose to date an old soggy woman named Cher. This is why I keep saying that we're in the lowest of the totem pole when it comes to dating. We'll pick up anything just because we need to be loved. Pretending to be like other women or in YouTube has killed my mental health for the past four years. Hi, my name is Brenda J. I am HIV positive. I've been HIV positive for going on eight years now. I received it from my ex-husband who knew he had it and he had it for many years. I am remarried. My husband is HIV negative. Um, I wanted to, I guess, expose myself because a lot of people know me by my story, but part of me healing is telling my truth. And a part of that is I have been trying to be like other girls on social media for the, for, for, the, for the past four years to the point that it causes my mental health to go down. It caused me to have depression for the past four years. Um, it also not living in reality. Um, from the way they look, the way they dress, the way they talk. This poor guy going to throw his whole life away because of what? Because of what? Kids that don't belong to you with a woman that's not attractive and she got the bug. For what? For love? You got to be kidding me. Anyway, we got to do better. And I hope this guy sees the truth sooner or later before it's too late. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I'll see you next time.